Well, I've got these rusty old trailer U-bolts that uh, the thread's pretty messed up. And also, there's not enough thread to get it tight enough for what I'm going to repurpose them for. I'm not going to be using this project for actual trailer U-bolts. I'd probably buy hardened good ones for that. But just to secure something with a U-bolt, follow along. I'm going to probably go and get just some all thread, uh, threaded rod or whatever, and bend that to the same shape to fit. I'm actually needing the U-bolts to attach a golf cart lid to my Coyote CK2610 tractor. It's just a budget uh, roof for my tractor. This is in my quest for shelter. I need shelter from the rain to do projects and work in. I need shelter from the sun to do projects and when working. So that's the focus now is, is getting myself a little more comfortable when I'm working. So lid for the tractor, lid for myself coming soon. Got done with the auctions today. And I purchased one of those uh, little portable fabric structure deals. Prices have definitely gone up on those things, man. They used to be real cheap at the auction. But uh, I went ahead and I paid up because I need something to keep me out of the sun. Not only on the tractor, but out here working. And I need to be able to set up some uh, workspace. Need to get a container really soon so I can set up some workspace like so the doors open up and my tools will be on the backs of the doors accessible. My welder and my plasma cutter and my uh, air compressor will always have a place to be and always be plugged in easily accessible. So stay tuned hit like and subscribe for that guys. So went to tractor supply spent 12 bucks uh, got bolts and washers and uh, lock nuts and also washers and lock nuts and a threaded rod I'm trying to figure out how i could bend this and it's what i come up with is actually this rod that's always sitting out here i actually got this from an auction i got a bunch of carts and uh, i've just been cutting up the carts these green carts for uh pieces and parts i got them like 50 bucks for a whole pallet of them there was like five of them on there so I think I'm going to use this rod and let's make us a bender. I'm also going to cut this piece down because the other piece that I've got here will fit over this and uh, I can use a bolt through that hole for one of my pivot points and I see that this rod to that hole is about the right thickness so I'm gonna get to cutting this off might even radius it and so that I, I know that I can rotate that around it really easy and nice so I got that hole step bit it out that hole step bit it out don't forget to lubricate when you're drilling it makes your bits last a lot longer I also mark where I'm going to uh, cut it out with Sharpie. So that's what I've come up with so far, guys. Got that in there. Ended up cutting off the end. Yeah, it's not smoothed out yet. It's still kind of jaggy. It's not perfect. It's not painted, blah, blah, blah. I know. I'm just going for function right now. So the next step of this is to put another bolt somewhere right about here with just enough space to fit our rod through and then it'll slide in this side it'll come out here but with this up so there's a die on the back side of it and it'll push it around around this so that's my plan Literally out of scrap metal that you guys have watched me uh, trip over in my driveway for several months now. This is what I'm coming up with. A bender. Get another hole started. A good distance from that. Which will allow a rod to go between. But still be pretty tight. Now I just gotta enlarge this one bigger so I can fit a bolt through there. 
and I came up with this. I'm not going to say that, like, I completely came up with the entire idea. I watched a couple videos last night, and, uh, something clicked finally, and I was like, you know what? I've got parts that I could make that work, and so, uh, and it was actually a video. The one that, I, that really made the most sense to me and I liked the most wasn't even in my language. It was just, it was a dude speaking in Russian and uh, putting something together. And I was just watching what he was putting together in the pictures. And I learned a lot from it. And this is what I was able to come up with so far. So I'm going to get these step bitted out and uh, get a bolt through there. Just get a quick video of what I've got. Basically just two bolts. piece of a uh, rectangular two and a uh, good handle and I'm just gonna stick this into the uh, back step of my tractor to where it's held or I could put it in a vise if I had a vise but I don't yet hence me not having workspace yet which is gonna be coming pretty soon just for demonstration purposes I'm gonna use this white rod against the gravel but basically you stick it in on that side of the bolt where when you pull down and around that way the leverage of the back of this rod is all against that side right if you wanted to bend it the other way just slide it you know bring the handle this way bring the handle this way put it in on this side and then bend it that way and I pretty much, I put my, um, I put these at about halfway on the bolt, hoping that that will help get me, you know, approximately at a 45 degree angle. So, alrighty guys. So there's my first bend. I went a little bit further than uh, I wanted to, but that's all right. I'll bend it back a little. And I also realized that from my mark that it goes up and around the bolt. So now this end is a little bit longer. So now I've got to take that into account when I measure this direction before I make the next uh, bend for the U. So there's our old one. And there's our new one for our first try guys and uh you know a homemade bender that we made ourselves that's awesome and you guys see where i did my mark here and how the bend comes up and around so i did it great i i estimated it and i, I just kind of marked it and eyeballed it and yeah looking good Use a cutoff wheel and got that cut off. And then I, uh, so what I did is I leave it kind of, you know, I leave the cutoff wheel running in one hand and then I kind of roll the other end and uh, get it kind of smoothed out a little bit. And then the nuts are able to go on there easy. So there we go, YouTube. Custom U bolts. You guys can make these too. Just like I did. I just used some scrap metal, came up with a bender, and uh, made up these uh, custom U-bolts. For my application, I'm actually going to use this rubber tube, and I'm going to put over it to protect uh, the paint of the bar that I'm going around. Because is why I did this is to adapt a golf cart lid to the uh, rollover protection bar on my tractor. And so I'm going to use this rubber tube or, you know, rubber hose, put it over it, protect the bar, and uh, be able to tighten that up with some uh, trailer axle deals. Anyways, hit like, hit subscribe, follow along. I'm going to upload this in two parts. There will be one part just making the bender and another part adapting the golf cart lid. So hit like, hit subscribe, follow along guys. Till next time, keep building shit. That's not why I do these videos though. I do these videos for you guys. I do these videos to get you guys to believe in what 
God gave you and believe in your own talents and abilities. I don't do them to, to show off my accomplishments. I get them. I, I, I continue to put myself out there on YouTube to show you guys that you guys can do it too because I'm I'm nothing special, man. I, I've literally spent my entire life in prison. I just believe in these every single day. And I take on a new project. I, I go out and I build something. I fix something. And I create something. So if you're into that kind of message, you're into that kind of encouragement, hit like and subscribe, guys. So after the first success, we had a couple failures. So I'm going to have to get some more of this threaded rod. But it's all right. I'm learning. But yeah, I, I kept on getting the bends too long. And I'm not real sure why because I got it right these two times.